The word Christian gets thrown around a lot. Many people in the world can call themselves something. Many people in the world can call themselves a Christian, and it's not all true. We're told about people saying, Lord, Lord, in that day, I've done this and that in your name, and God will say, depart from me, you that work iniquity. In 2 Timothy 2.15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. In my opinion, if someone's a Christian, they should be on the internet. They should be on YouTube and in and fellowshipping in this, these last days we're in. Right, brothers and sisters? We're not better than other people. We are putting in some effort and studying to show ourselves approved by reading scripture, by studying the world and the enemy. We need to study the enemy a bit to know them. It's very, very, very deceptive. We found that out. It's laughable. It is so deceptive. Satan is definitely the father of lies. There's a lot of people that are saying, Hey, I'm a Christian. Your channel's ridiculous. I don't get this. Freemasons, what are you talking about? That kind of thing. And it gets tiresome. A Christian should know what world they live in, where Satan, the small g god, runs things, and the world is actually fallen and satanic. There are nice things here. Nature is nice. Family and love. And there's a lot of nice things. But we should be thinking about the future with God and not holding on to the world or loving the world because then the, the love of the Father is not in us. With just a few photos of any celebrity, basically, you can see the world is biblical. Kim Ji Won is a South Korean actress. She's holding a cookie over her eye. I usually put them in my mouth, <laughs> but some people put them over their eyes. Why is she doing this? If you research, you find out about one eye symbolism, the eye of Horus, which is Egyptian, an Egyptian god, right? All the Egyptian gods and the false gods and deities of this world are of Satan. Jesus Christ is the true living God who died upon the cross, was buried and resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures. It's for forgiveness of sins, salvation to the Father and heaven, and so much more. The future with God, the true living God, is great. So Kim here does one-eye symbolism. I wonder why. Kim is a successful actress from South Korea, so she has the signs of success on her hands, which in this fallen world is 666. She does the vow of silence, keeping the secret of the biblical world and about fame, fortune, and success. I know some people don't like this part of my channel, but it's true. You really have to study about things. Study both models. The heliocentric, the sun's in the middle of the quote-unquote universe and we spin around it. Or is it the geocentric universe where Earth is creation? It's the center of creation. There's waters above and... Oh yeah, fake in space, even in South Korea... This is not a perfect model, but Earth is creation. There it is. Land and waters. Hell below. Sheol. Whatever you want to call it. The sun and the moon. They are close and local. They're the same size. That's the way eclipses work. The stars. The constellations. And the wandering stars, which the world says planets all the time. They are lights in the sky. No one's landing on them. There's no aliens living on them. There's no other place like Earth. Earth is creation. The universe, quote-unquote, is inside the firmament dome. Above that is the waters. God flooded the earth in the beginning by opening the vaults of heaven. There's heavens above. God and our Lord Jesus Christ are seated above us in the heavens. We are going to see him on that great day. He's going to appear, not on a globe, because if he's on the bottom, how are you going to see him from the bottom of the globe, right? If we live in Canada or North America, Australia and China and whatever, right? That used to be a joke. Dig your way to China. The earth is there. Hell is below us. Heaven is above us and waters above. God bless you, everyone.